Here we have the ASRock Z75 Pro 3 motherboard. It's a socket 1155 motherboard and supports all Core i3, i5, and i7 second and third generation Intel processors. It has four DDR3 1600 MHz RAM slots supporting up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. It has two PCI Express supporting Crossfire. One will be 16x, the other is 8x. It has one PCI Express X1 slot and two PCI Express uh, PCI slots. It has two SATA 6 gigabits per second, these two ports right here, and it has four SATA 2 3 gigabits per second ports right here. It does have an onboard USB 3 header. Here's your 24 pin power, your 8 pin CPU power. It has a MOSFET heatsink above the CPU socket. There's your CMOS battery. Is your G75 chipset right there? I'm gonna kind of angle the board here. Give me one second. Gonna rotate it. We do have. I'm gonna get the lighting a little bit better. I don't know if that's actually better or not, but we'll go with it. Two, four USB 2.0 ports, two USB 3, HDMI, VGA. A PS2 keyboard port, 10 100 1000 Ethernet, and 7.1 channel audio. I want to say the audio is, is a real tech chipset, and so is the Ethernet. This board does support up to 2800 plus megahertz DDR3 RAM. And this board, with this board, we're going to be using a Core i5-3750K Ivy Bridge processor from Intel. We're going to be using 8 gigs of DDR3 1600 MHz RAM from Patriot. A RAID Max 700 watt power supply. And a 120 gigabyte Mustin Enhanced Chronos Drive SATA 3 along with a Corsair H40 CPU water cooler and a Cooler Master Half 912 case. I will come back with the installation of the CPU for testing.